the Amazon is a colossal mystery, and uh, it's one of the subjects that I explore. A farmer in Australia has found a very unique way of expressing love. A drone in Brazil's dense Amazon jungle accidentally exposed a hidden indigenous tribe, revealing secrets perhaps meant to stay hidden. This discovery by FUNIAI, the Agency for Indigenous Affairs, emphasizes the urgency of protecting these secluded communities. The drone's images showed camouflaged huts and crops, unveiling a way of life deeply entwined with nature. What risks does this exposure bring? Let us uncover the terrifying mysteries that lies in the wild jungle of Brazil. Brazil's ultimate breakthrough in the Amazon. This is a big deal for both studying human cultures and protecting the environment. The journey to find these hidden people covered over 200 miles of tough terrain, but it was worth it. Previous trips found important items like stone axes and traditional canoes, showing how ancient and untouched this tribe's way of life is. But using a drone this time made a huge difference. Flying above the dense forest, the drone's cameras took amazing pictures of huts that blended perfectly with the lush greenery and crops among the trees. These images, unseen until now, showed the tribe's incredible ability to live off the land. This discovery is more than just recording. It shows Funai's crucial role in protecting the freedom and cultural heritage of isolated indigenous groups. Brazil has around 70 such groups that have chosen to stay isolated to protect themselves from outside dangers, like diseases and exploitation. Funai's work is essential in helping these groups live peacefully and undisturbed, keeping their unique cultures alive for future generations. Meanwhile, in a quiet crocodile park near Darwin, a regular filming session for an ABC News documentary turned into an unexpected wildlife encounter. Cameraman D.N.E. Hurst, using a new drone to film crocodile habitats, flew it over a calm lagoon full of lurking crocodiles. Suddenly, a saltwater crocodile became the star of the show. As the drone hovered, capturing the scene, the crocodile sprang up at incredible speed, snapping its jaws around the drone. The moment was quick and startling. DNE tried to control the drone, but could only watch as the crocodile's powerful attack cut his video feed. The drone, on its first mission in the rugged outback, fell victim to the predator's surprise attack highlighting the wild and unpredictable nature of filming these fierce creatures. But this wasn't the end of the story. Diving into the dark waters, something unexpected appeared weeks later. While searching around the lagoon, technicians found the broken remains of a drone. Surprisingly, the drone's memory card was still working and had recorded its last moments, including a sudden attack by a crocodile. At the same time in New South Wales, Ben Jackson, a sheep farmer from Gora, found a special way to remember his late aunt during the pandemic. He couldn't go to her funeral, so he decided to do something creative to cope with his sadness. He carefully arranged his sheep into a heart shape as a tribute to her. At first, his attempts didn't look right, making random shapes instead. But Ben didn't give up, and finally, he managed to form the perfect heart shape that showed his deep feelings. He used a drone to film this touching scene from above, with his farm as the beautiful background. This act of remembrance showed the strong bonds within families and the creative ways people express their feelings during tough times. The image of the heart-shaped sheep formation seen from the sky not only honored his aunt, but also touched many others beyond his farm. In a stunning twist that shook global politics, a drone accidentally found something hidden in the waters off Hyen Island. The pictures on its memory card showed a secret underground submarine base. Located in China's southern regions, this base is at the Ulan Naval Facility on Pan Island, which is about 300 miles southwest of Hong Kong. It is crucial to China's maritime defense, protecting the submarine fleet from overhead threats with its strong underground design. These facilities are key to boosting China's defense capabilities, showing the nation's commitment to strengthening its military. The Type 093 submarine, equipped with advanced weapons like cruise missiles and torpedoes, shows China's aim to enhance its naval power and secure its position in regional and global security matters. Let's journey from quiet Sicilian hills to places shaped by human and natural hands. The town shaped like a man. 
Centuripe is a small town nestled among rugged hills in the heart of Sicily. But this isn't just any old town. It's a place where history takes on a playful twist, especially when viewed from above. A local photographer, using his trusty drone, revealed something amazing about this town. Perched on a hill, Centuripe's streets fan out like spokes on a wheel, forming a layout that looks remarkably like a human figure. Five distinct extensions stretch from its center, giving the town a humanoid shape that caught the world's attention. At first, many people couldn't believe this was real, but drone footage in Google Earth confirmed Centuripe's unique design. What some might see as a curious oddity is actually a fascinating example of urban planning, or maybe a bit of nature's creativity. This discovery puts Centuripe in the spotlight, earning it the nickname, the human-shaped town. Further north in Geneva, Switzerland, there's another amazing site where the Rhone and Arve rivers meet. Recently, this spot gained new fame thanks to a daring drone exploration. The Rhone starts in the Swiss Alps and flows through Lake Geneva, while the Arve begins as a clear stream in the French Alps. When these two rivers merge, they create a dramatic clash of currents and colors. The drone footage captured this beautifully, showing the stark differences in their flows. In Mount Gambier, South Australia, a drone helped bring a community together. Aidan Fitzner was reunited with his six-month-old Kelpie, Macy, after she ran away at a gas station. Despite days of searching and a social media campaign, Macy was nowhere to be found. Then a volunteer with a drone spotted the adventurous pup, ending days of anxious waiting. The community celebrated Macy's return, showing how drones can be lifesavers and highlighting the strong bond between pets and their owners. With lots of preparation and fully charged batteries, a drone took off, flying above the tough terrain of Valley Lakes' crater region. The drone operator, listening closely, heard the faint distress calls of a dog in the distance. Just as the drone's battery was almost empty, it spotted a dog named Macy near a steep volcanic cliff. The operator quickly contacted Aiden with the important news. Without hesitation, Aiden navigated through rocky ground and thick plants to rescue his beloved dog. This heartwarming reunion was shown live with Macy leaping into Aiden's arms and covering him with happy licks. In another part of the world near Chaco Canyon, New Mexico, exciting work was happening. Dr. John Kantner and his team from the University of Florida found the remains of a thousand-year-old village called Blue Jay using drones with advanced thermal imaging. These drones, which could see beneath the surface, revealed a complex network of ancient structures that had been buried for centuries. Normally, this kind of discovery would take decades of digging, but with modern technology, it was done in just a few days. Dr. Kantner, who has studied this region for years, was thrilled, especially about finding a Ka, a key ceremonial area important to the spiritual and communal life of the ancient Pueblo people. This technology gave deep insights into the past, showing where people lived, celebrated, and made important decisions. On a South African beach near Durban, a serious environmental issue was captured by Josh Redman's drone. During a heavy storm, his footage showed waves mixing with a flood of plastic debris, highlighting a severe environmental crisis. The video showed how seasonal river runoff carries accumulated waste into the ocean, making pollution worse. The coast near Durban's main river mouth was covered with plastic bottles and other debris, highlighting this area as a major problem for plastic pollution in South Africa. The striking visuals were a powerful reminder of the urgent need to address our environmental impact on the planet. It's still uncertain how well authorities will handle the widespread problem of plastic pollution. Recent videos show how this issue affects not just marine life, but also coastal communities that rely on clean and healthy seas. Next, we dive into fiery wonders, where nature shows its wild side, a portal to nature's raw power. In a remote area of Darvasa, Turkmenistan, a fascinating phenomenon challenges the usual laws of nature. Called the door to hell, this fiery pit was accidentally created by a Soviet drilling operation in 1971. It was meant to be a temporary fix to stop toxic gas emissions. However, instead of going out, it has been burning for over 50 years. This has attracted the interest of both researchers and technology enthusiasts. Drones, usually used for simpler tasks, have provided unique overhead views of this continuous blaze, 
capturing the eerie sight of the flaming pit. George Conus, a brave explorer, was one of the first to study this site closely. He was not only deeply curious, but also equipped with advanced gear to better understand the phenomenon. On another note, the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii put on an amazing show as molten lava flowed into the Pacific Ocean. This event happened after a major structural collapse at the Kamakura Lava Delta within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Videographer Warren used his drone to safely record this fiery interaction. His footage captures the dramatic scene of hot lava meeting the cool ocean waters, creating explosive steam clouds. This powerful clash between lava and water shows the ongoing battle between the fiery underground and the vast ocean, highlighting the ever-changing surface of our planet. The continuous burning of the door to hell and the dramatic scenes from Kilauea remind us of how unpredictable and powerful nature can be. The striking photos not only caught many people's eyes, but also highlighted the ongoing changes in the Earth's surface. While filming, Warren faced intense moments when two hikers nearly fell off the fragile cliff's edge. They were dangerously close as a big part of the cliff broke off, sending rocks and debris flying. This was a clear warning about how unpredictable volcanic areas can be and the risks of filming in such active places. At the same time, the MV Ho Osaka, a huge cargo ship filled with luxury cars, including 1,400 Bentleys, faced an unexpected problem. On its way to Bremerhaven, Germany, the ship got stuck on Bramble Bank. The captain had to make a quick and crucial decision to stop a bigger disaster, managing to keep the ship from capsizing. Dramatic drone footage showed the ship leaning sharply, showing the captain's fast thinking and the dangers of sailing in unpredictable waters. But that wasn't the worst part. Off the coast of Haya Bay in northern Israel, an amazing scene took place as huge numbers of nomad jellyfish gathered in the Mediterranean Sea. This gathering turned the usually clear blue waters into a sea of white dots that went deep below the surface. Israel's Nature and Parks Authority captured this seasonal event, which has both amazed and worried marine biologists and locals. The sheer number of jellyfish this season is unprecedented, causing both fascination and concern about the effect on the local marine life. Previously recorded data had been warning us about the possible ecological and economic impacts of shark encounters. A heart-pounding event happened off South Beach, Florida, where drone footage revealed a striking scene. A tiger shark, known for its large size and powerful presence, was swimming near people who were completely unaware of it. The photographer, Kenny Melendez, had initially planned to use his drone to capture beautiful aerial views of the beach. Unexpectedly, he spotted the distinct shape of the tiger shark moving through the ocean waves below. His camera captured the shark's smooth and powerful movements as it swam through the water, showing its strength and grace. Moving from fire to water, we explore the silent world under the sea. Sharks and shorelines, close encounters in Florida's waters. Kenny watched in awe as the people on the beach remained calm, even as the shark came dangerously close. Tiger sharks, known for their large size and strong jaws, are common in Florida's coastal waters and play an essential role in maintaining the balance of the marine ecosystem. Thankfully, this encounter ended without any harm. The shark, after a brief swim along the shoreline, showed no interest in the humans and moved away. This incident, captured so vividly thanks to modern technology, highlights the unexpected moments of interaction between humans and marine wildlife reminding us of the powerful forces at play in nature. The real surprise was how close humans and sharks can come without any conflict. It makes us think about how little we know about these underwater giants and their behavior. Each encounter like this teaches us more about the delicate balance of our marine ecosystem. It also shows how important it is to respect these powerful creatures and their natural habitat. One day, a group of whales swam close to some people watching from the shore before moving on. This shows how important drones are in capturing special moments of marine life. Drones can fly high and hover in place, giving researchers and conservationists a new way to see and understand marine animals. They help in studying and protecting sea creatures and the people who visit the beaches. As technology improves, drones are becoming even more important in marine research and conservation. They help us learn more about and protect our oceans.
On the other hand, the Arthur Killship Graveyard provides an interesting sight from above. Located between Staten Island and New Jersey's industrial areas, this spot is often overlooked. Drones have revealed this watery grave where World War II ships are hidden. These old ships, forgotten over time, remind us of the past. The drone footage offers a clear view, showing us what lies beneath the surface. This technology helps document history and strengthens our connection to it. By using new technology, we can preserve and appreciate the stories these relics tell. Since the 1970s, the Arthur Kill, a stretch of water between New Jersey and Staten Island, has changed from a heavily polluted area into a vibrant, flourishing habitat. This change has been significantly helped by advances in drone technology, which let us see the rich marine life that now thrives there. The waters are full of life. Crabs scuttle along the seabed, small fish dart through the water, and larger predators like striped bass and bluefish patrol the waters, hunting for their next meal. But that's not the only interesting thing about this place. Amidst this revived ecosystem, there lies a striking contrast, a ship graveyard. This site contains over a dozen old vessels, each marked by the passage of time, with their stories told through layers of rust and barnacles. Positioned just across from Carteret, New Jersey, these ships were once part of a thriving salvage operation. Now drone footage captures these silent giants, serving as a haunting reminder of a different age. On the other side of the world, recent events in Slovenia have shown the destructive power of nature. Heavy torrential rains have hit the northern and western regions hard, transforming the peaceful countryside into a landscape marked by devastation. The rains have caused severe flooding, turning fields into lakes and roads into rivers. The scenes are filled with chaos and despair. Drones flying above the affected areas have captured the grim reality of the aftermath, providing a clear view of the havoc caused by the floods. From calm to chaos, watch how nature's storms transform everything. Damaged landscapes of Slovenia. These images highlight the urgent need for response and recovery efforts in the wake of such natural disasters. They show a stark contrast to the peaceful days that came before the storm, reminding us of the power of nature and the importance of being prepared for such events. The drone footage showed the harsh reality of the situation, with homes completely destroyed and communities in chaos. As the camera moved over the ruined areas, it clearly captured the powerful floodwaters that tore through Slovenian villages, sweeping everything away. The aerial view showed once stable buildings, now reduced to rubble, looking like scenes from a disaster movie. After such widespread destruction, the need for effective rescue operations was critical. The Slovenian police responded quickly, using helicopters to reach the hardest hit areas, especially around Carinthia near the Austrian border. In these areas, rescuers raced against time to save lives. The sense of urgency was palpable as they navigated the difficult terrain and worked tirelessly to bring people to safety. The village of CRV Re was particularly affected with about 300 residents in a dire situation. The drone footage was essential, not just for documenting these moments, but also for helping the rescue efforts. It provided a clear view of the damaged areas, allowing disaster response teams to fully understand the extent of the damage. This was key for planning evacuation routes and coordinating rescue missions. The ability to see the devastation from above gave rescuers a significant advantage in organizing their efforts. This bird's eye view helped organize a fast response, ensuring that help reached those in need quickly and efficiently. The detailed images from above allowed rescue teams to map out safe paths from the flooded areas and plan the best ways to use rescue resources. Seeing the entire scope of the damage from above was crucial, making the drone a vital tool in the emergency response efforts. Guiding rescuers on the ground to save survivors and bring some order back to the chaotic regions. Beyond just rescue operations, the footage also played a crucial role in the aftermath of the disaster. It helped authorities and relief organizations assess the full extent of the damage, enabling them to allocate resources more effectively. They could identify which areas needed the most urgent help and where to focus their rebuilding efforts. This comprehensive view from the drones was indispensable in managing the recovery process 
and ensuring that aid was distributed where it was needed most. In the days following the flood, the images captured by the drones continued to be an invaluable resource. They were used to monitor the progress of relief efforts and to make adjustments as necessary. As new challenges arose, the real-time information provided by the drones allowed for quick responses and adaptive strategies. This ongoing surveillance was critical in maintaining the momentum of the recovery operations and ensuring that no area was overlooked. But this wasn't the worst part. The emotional toll on the residents was immense. Seeing their homes and communities destroyed was heartbreaking, and the footage brought these personal tragedies to light. It served as a powerful reminder of the human impact of natural disasters and underscored the importance of swift and effective relief efforts. The drone footage not only guided the practical aspects of the response, but also highlighted the urgent need for compassion and support for the affected individuals. The use of drones in this disaster response showcased their potential as a transformative tool in emergency management. They provided a level of insight and coordination that was previously unattainable, enabling a more effective and compassionate response. As technology continues to advance, the role of drones in disaster relief is likely to expand, offering new ways to save lives and rebuild communities. This disaster in Slovenia demonstrated the critical importance of being prepared and leveraging technology to its fullest potential in times of crisis. Why do you think authorities are trying to hide the stealth drone's chilling discovery in California? Like, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more.